So I want to start off uh, telling you all a story. So I work at the Boys and Girls Club down in Orlando. I've, it'll be five years this May that I've been working there. And the way it's set up is we have two different programs that happen. We have the elementary school program, which is kindergarten all the way up till fifth grade. And then we have the teen program, which is sixth grade all the way up to our seniors in high school. And so this story takes place about two weeks before the school year started back during the summer of 2021. And the way the school day, the way the um, days work is, is usually tailored first to the elementary schoolers. Then it's more tailored towards the teen program. So. One day we decided, well, they decided they were going to do a capture the flag game. And me, the natural athlete that I am, decided to play in the capture the flag game. So I'm out there, I'm grabbing the flags, I'm snatching whatever I'm able to snatch. I'm getting people because they were in prison because they got their flag snatched. Again, not the natural athlete that I am. It happens not as fast as me, not as fast as myself either. But my team ended up winning, of course. And... It was a really fun time and an, a very exciting time. And, you know, I didn't think too much of it. I just thought it was a fun game. I was going to participate, hang out with them a little bit, call it a day. But my boss at Boys and Girls Club, Miss Anna, she pulled me to the side after the game. And she was telling me how all the teens appreciated me playing with them, my facial expressions, because I've been told I have very funny facial expressions, interacting with them and even the losing team was very happy and that almost never happens because of how competitive just our teens and really our kids in general are there so I look at something like that you look at what we just had about 30 minutes ago out in the lobby just interacting and mingling with one another and even what we have here right now really at the root of it is connections and so I have some feasible actions that I want to give you all today that can help strengthen your connections. Um, you can build new ones and then it can also help rekindle old ones. But before that, I want to talk a little bit about why they're significant in the first place. So there was this psychologist, American psychologist, his name was Abraham Maslow, and he had these hierarchy of needs. And so this hierarchy of needs, it was like in a pyramid shape and there was five different levels. In that third level was love and belonging. And it discusses about it discusses how, as human beings, we, need, we want and need to feel connected, a sense of a love, like being loved by people, a sense of f truly belonging, and a sense of community. So there is evidence and proof to show that having these genuine, healthy connections is very important. Again, not just to be, a, not just to be alive, but to truly, truly feel human and really live life to its fullest. So I want to get to now the feasible actions. And the first one I want to start with is by, by asking somebody how their day is going. I want to get personal a little bit in discussing uh, my own case with my mom. All my entire life, that's the very first thing. Doesn't matter what's going on. Doesn't matter what else needs to be discussed. We always start off by asking, how was your day? And it's something that we all do probably each and every day or every other day. Ask somebody how their day is. Maybe you think deeply about it. Maybe it's just casual question you ask every now and then, and there's nothing wrong with either one. But I'm here to tell you that asking that question, it really does mean a lot. And it's because it shows that you're taking the time, you're taking the energy, you're taking the effort to really want to know how that person's day is going. There's plenty of people that I just asked how their day was going, and it ended up turning into a whole different conversation that I ended up learning something new. They learned something new. And the connection was able to become stronger and deeper as a result of that. So that's one feasible action that you could do. Another feasible action I have for you is being your authentic self. It is the only thing you will be perfect at in this life because it's literally in your DNA. If you think about any and all the wonderful, loving, awesome relationships you have in your life that you feel a true sense of connection with the person, if I was to ask you, why do you feel that? You'd probably answer, one of the first things you would answer is you just feel like you could be yourself. It feels natural. You don't really have to put on a facade or be something you're not. All you have to be is yourself. And it just feels, it's just a very beautiful and very calm and accepting feeling. And I heard one time, and I think it really speaks a lot to this. Would you rather be hated for what you are or loved for something that you're not? So something to think about. And then the third feasible action I have for you 
is learning the little things and the big things about people. I'll tell you another story. So the way my club is, is the Boys and Girls Club is right here. There's a road right here. And then there's the A Mart right here on this side. So one day during the summer of 2022, I was, in, I was fortunate enough to be in charge of the teen program. I was one of the youngest in Orange County being in charge of it because usually you're about 26 to 28 years old when you're in charge of that program. I had the honor of doing that when I was 20. And one of my teens, she was having a tough day. She was having a bad day. Things just weren't going her way. We've all had days like that before. And the thing about the Boys and Girls Club is that usually when our kids or our teens are having that type of day, they kind of close themselves off and it just continues to snowball and become worse and worse. Fortunately, I remembered that her favorite drink was a Sprite. So like I just mentioned a moment ago about that A store, I crossed the street, I went to the A store, I bought a can of Sprite back when it was just $1. Um, that's just, it still hurts the soul, I'm sorry. Um, and I gave it to her and she was wondering, what's this for? And I told her, just because. And her day took a complete 180. It ended up being a good day. Everything ended up working itself out. And I just thought that was just going to be the end of it. I didn't really think it was going to do too much other than to just make her day better. But what it did was it strengthened the connection that we had with one another. And now she's one of my favorite teens. Again, do not tell them that. They're all my favorites. This is between you and me. Um, and I'm one of her favorite staff. And so, again, me knowing that little detail played a big role in just making her day better, but also strengthening a connection that we had. And I always say it's the small things that are the little pieces that build a bigger picture. So to recap the three feasible actions that you can do, you can, the three feasible actions are making sure that you are your authentic self, asking how somebody's day is going, and then learning the little things and big things about people. All of these things are very important. They'll help to strengthen your connections, make new connections, and again, rekindle old ones. And I can give a personal account because it's literally been playing out all day long, all the connections and all the feelings that I feel having this great opportunity just to be here and talk to you all about it. It's living proof that these connections really and truly are a beautiful thing. As a matter of fact, they're everything. Thank you.